Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. Today's video, I'm not only going to go over settings in Valorant, but I'm also going to show you the best NVIDIA driver for the highest FPS, and also how to properly install the NVIDIA driver, as well as importing a custom NVIDIA inspector profile. As you can see from the graph on the screen, 456.55 was clearly the best driver for Valorant, not only in the lowest FPS, but for average and maximum FPS. This FPS was taken in the Valorant shooting range over the course of 120 seconds for 10 runs and recorded in cat frame X. My PC has an Intel i7 9700K 2070 Super with the motherboard ASUS Prime Z390A with my RAM of 16 gigabytes running at 3200 MHz. The Valorant settings for the testing was everything off and everything on low, except I had the reflex on plus boost. You want to keep multi-thread rendering on unless you only have a one or two core CPU, which the majority of you won't. Turning this off, I had a significant FPS drop. For material, texture, detail, and UI quality, Going from low to high individually was about a 5 FPS decrease. The two other settings I want to focus on are the anastropic filtering and improved clarity. So for me, turning the anastropic filtering from 1 to 16x had no impact on FPS. However, it will improve your quality the higher the number you have. But depending on your system, your FPS might be lower with a higher number rather than just having it on 1x. For the improved clarity, this is something that I turn on when I'm playing because I am not GPU bound whatsoever. However, if your GPU is significantly less than your CPU and you're running with your frames uncapped, you're going to want to turn this off because you will have an FPS decrease. For each FPS testing run, this is exactly where I stood every time. In this image, you'll see my FPS is lower, but that's because I'm in 4K right now. So now I'm going to get into installing the NVIDIA driver as well as importing the profile. I have a file dropper link as well as a Google Drive link in the description to download this pack. Leave this folder on your desktop and we're going to boot into safe mode. Here's a guide that will also go over this. So when you open up DDU in safe mode, it's going to look like this. You're going to go select device type, GPU, NVIDIA, and then click clean and restart. Your PC will restart itself, and then when it loads back up, you won't have an NVIDIA driver installed. If it does install, just unplug or disable your network. Next, we're going to open up NV clean install. You're going to select the driver version, 456.55. Select next. It's going to bring you to a screen like this and you're going to check all of these boxes here. Select next again and then install. You're going to need to allow your PC to trust NV clean install so make sure you don't just walk away. And then after that installs make sure that you can open your NVIDIA control panel because sometimes it'll bug and you have to redo these steps. We're going to go back into the folder and we're going to use this bat file. I didn't make it. I can't remember exactly where I got it from. This will reset the profile settings for each game. Next, we're going to open up NVIDIA Inspector and NVIDIA Profile Inspector. We're going to go to Import, Import Profile. And now I've added Fortnite for this driver as well, in case you also play Fortnite. But you're going to click on Valorant, click Open, and it'll say it is successfully imported. I always click Apply Changes just to make sure. Now you're all set. We're going to go back into the Control Panel. Go to Adjust Desktop Size and Position. Make sure that if it says you can perform scaling on display, you're on no scaling and override the scaling mode set by games and programs. And make sure you're on the correct resolution for your monitor. 
so that you're on 1920 by 1080 by 240 or whatever your refresh rate is for your monitor. For these NVIDIA settings, low latency mode is off, so we wanna make sure we're using on plus boost for NVIDIA Reflex. Using the on plus boost will allow your NVIDIA graphics card to reach higher boost clock speeds without having to use any overclocking software. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped increase your FPS, please leave a like and subscribe. It took a really long time to test all these drivers, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.